गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल कंटिन्यू विद द टॉपिक ऑर्डर कैलोब्राइल्स एंड वी विल कंटिन्यू विद द जीनस कैलोब्राइन इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैड डिस्कस्ड द गमिटोफिटिक जनरेशन ऑफ कैलोब्राइन एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द स्पोरोफिटिक जनरेशन ऑफ कैलो प्राइम लेट मी जस्ट रिवाइज द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी ऑलरेडी नो द सिस्टमेटिक पोजिशन ऑफ कैलो प्राइम विच इज प्लेस इन द ऑर्डर कैलो प्राइल्स क्लास हिपैटिक ऑप्सिडा फैमिली कैलोप्राइसी एंड वी हैड डिस्कस्ड दैट द जीनस कैलोप्राइम इज अ सिनोनिम फॉर हैप्लोमिट्रियम द अर्लीस्ट टेक्सोनॉमिस प्लेस्ड द टू जेनरा हैप्लोमिट्रियम एंड कैलोब्राइम इन द ऑर्डर जुंगो मैनल्स but campbell and jones placed haplometrium together with calobrine haplometrium anacrogynous and calobrine being acrogynous schuster in 1963 united these two genera under haplometrium therefore we can say calobrine and haplometrium are one and one and the same thing the order calobrans we know that this order is a specific order and it exhibits a strange combination of primitive and advanced features these features were discussed in the earlier lecture now the order calobrials here the gametophytes are small rhizomatous and they lack drought resistance the plant body is differentiated into a basal branched creeping leafless plate like structure which is underground and from the rhizome arise the erect green leafy axis or branches the leaves may be isophyllous or anisophyllous having no midrib the total absence of rhizoids from the leafy axis and rhizome are the characters in which calobrials differ from the hepatic opsida with the exception of tacacales the order calobrials are dimorphic and heterothallic the sexual reproduction the two male and female plants are born in the separate thallus the developing sporophyte is surrounded and thus protected by a cylindrical green to yellow massive fleshy shoot called as calyptra the capsule is exceptionally elongated and the order includes a single family calo brisi this is the external morphology which i have described you can see the rhizome which is underground and from the rhizome arise the erect branches leaves are isophyllous and anisophyllous and they are without a midrib now let us begin with the sporophytic generation of calobrian just after fertilization 
when the male and female gametes or the anthidia and archegonia egg and the sperm sperm fuses to form the zygote just after that the venter wall cells start dividing extensively by periclinal divisions resulting into a cylindrical fleshy green to yellowish green massive calyptra which is around 15 to 17 mm long around the developing sporophyte the calyptra is smooth with the unfertilized archegonia usually basal or nearly so the calyptra is massive and it is also termed as the shoot calyptra the sterile archegonia are elevated on the shoot calyptra the total absence of perianth sheath which is the protective sheath around the archegonia is absent in this order and this separates the order calopriles from the jugomenales so the venter cells they divide to form a protective sheath called as the shoot calyptra now the sporophyte we can see here the elongated wall cells have each usually complete median annular longitudinally oriented brown band of thickening in figure d and e the capsule wall inside the capsule wall the sporogenous tissue is differentiated into spores and elaters and the spores they are 18 to 30 mu and elaters are 6 to 10 mu in diameter figure b and c the spore to elater ratio is 3 to 1 there is no elater for elaters are long very slender and gradually taper towards the tip now the sporophyte of the calobram here you can see the figure a this is the upper part of the female gametophyte bearing the sporophyte in terminal and b is the ls capsule so capsule it is terminal in position and is surrounded by a massive calyptra when young the mature sporophyte is differentiated into foot seta and capsule and the capsule wall is unistratus except at the tip so the combination of unistratus capsule and a massive sporophyte in the order calibrize is a specific feature and so we can say that the calibrails are a synthetic genus having features of special interest the gametophyte is primitive and advanced it has a, it is having both the features of primitive and advanced nature and apart from it ducket et al he studied the sperm morphology and found that the spermatozoids have 
special features such as accessory band of microtubules which is common in the homosporous ferns so you can see the calopryls is so much advanced that it has a close affinity towards the living organisms linking bryophytes to the tracheophytes so this is all about calobryme and with this we bind up the order calobryls of the division graphite thank you so much